Okay, so here I am inside Photoshop, and in this video tutorial, what I want to show you is the black and white conversion, but this time using channels instead. Now, there's a number of ways in Photoshop for converting images to black and white. One of the obvious ways is to use the image mode and grayscale, or you could go to image adjustments and desaturate. But first of all, the options like desaturate or grayscale don't give you much uh, control. Yeah, if you just choose desaturate, let's say the image is black and white, and it looks a bit dull here. So if you want to have more control, the next step would be to use the black and white adjustment. And you can use image adjustments black and white, or again, for more control, for better effects, for more future-proof effects, use the adjustment layer, because if you apply a black and white adjustment layer, you can edit it at any time. And it's non-destructive, and there's loads of great features of adjustment layers, which I'm not going to cover in here. But here's another way. I'm just going to undo the last step. step. Sorry. If you navigate the Channels panel, you've got all the channels within the image. So if your image is an RGB composite, you'll have the RGB composite and red, green, and blue channels. So for example, what you can do is look through the channels by selecting them one at a time, looking for the best effect you're most happy with. For example, in this case, the red channel will have the best effect in here. Okay. The most contrast between different areas within the image. We use channels quite often, or we used to use them quite a lot for selections, because if you increase the contrast between the objects, it's easier to select them using magnetic lasso tool, for example, which works with contrast. Okay. So what we can do here is we can use this channel here, we could duplicate it, okay. so we've got a separate channel. So we've got the RGB composite and the red copy, right? Okay. Or just leave it, keep the channel selected, and go back to the Layers panel to start making some work. So quickly and easily, by just selecting one of the channels, you can make the image into a much better black and white image than you would normally achieve with the other options.